Missouri Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft decertified Amendment 3. However, the Missouri Supreme Court, which has historically shied away from legal cases involving ballot measures, will now have to decide the future of the amendment on the day that ballots are scheduled to be finalized. After gathering more than 380,000 signatures across the state, Members of Missourians for Constitutional Freedom celebrated sending the abortion question to voters. It is our turn to do something that no other state has done before, end a total abortion ban at the ballot box. Just a month later, it's unclear if that will actually be the case with Amendment 3. After a Cole County Circuit judge ruled the campaign didn't do enough during the signature gathering process to inform voters the ballot question would undo Missouri's near total abortion ban. This actually raises a host of questions and asks them to vote on them all at once, which is actually illegal. It, uh, we have a constitutional provision protecting us from having to do that. Mary Catherine Martin, attorney with the Thomas More Society, has long argued that Amendment 3 was too vague and could lead to a host of issues beyond abortion. We're going to eventually be talking about gender affirming care. We're going to be talking about cloning uh, IVF. We're going to be talking about anything having to do with reproduction. Supporters of Amendment 3 believe that Martin is taking the proposed legislation out of context. The constitutional amendment is about um, protecting the right to abortion up to viability. That's why in a legal brief filed Thursday morning, attorneys for Missourians for Constitutional Freedom are arguing that the judge erred in concluding Amendment 3 was insufficient, adding his decision was an unconstitutional attempt by the legislature to add burdensome requirements to the initiative process. The most pressing question for the judge right now is, does it make legal sense to kick something off the Friday before ballots are to be printed on a Tuesday? Um, and the answer to that is no. It is the amendment that asks citizens to guess what it will eventually cover. I'm asking. Oral arguments in the ongoing Amendment 3 battle are scheduled to be heard at 8.30 tomorrow morning. We will bring you updates on air and online as soon as a decision is released.